We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at the Marriott Hotel. We're here doing a live interview with Taylor Melhoff. Taylor was a kicker at the University of Wisconsin and was a sixth round draft pick for the New Orleans Saints. Today, or this evening, Taylor's gonna be kicking for the New Orleans Saints as they go against the Arizona Cardinals. We'll be asking questions about his thoughts before the draft, training camp, and other thoughts that I think would be good for some young kickers to hear. So enjoy this interview. All right, so the first question I want to ask Taylor is, how does it feel to be in the NFL right now? All right, uh, being in the NFL so far, you know, it's been it's, it's been an awesome experience. I really haven't haven't done anything yet. You know, I've, I've been in my first uh, first training camp and have uh, gone through that experience, and it, it's been awesome. It's uh, you know, I think I've really grown uh, more in a, in a mental state as a kicker than I have actually physically. You uh, you learn that every single kick is so important, and uh, I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned. Um, you know, it's it, it's very demanding. You go in there, and it's it's not college anymore. And uh, this this first preseason game coming up, uh, actually later tonight, will be a will be a great experience. It's something something I've looked forward to for a long time, and uh, I'm really excited for it. Basically, the second question: What are your feelings about tonight's game? <laughs> <laughs> like you know, tonight I'm I'm, I'm excited for the game. Uh, you know, I've 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 always dreamt of, of playing in the NFL and being able to throw on uh, that NFL uniform and. Uh, it's, it's just something that I'm, I'm really excited about. I, I can't wait to, to, to strap on the cleats and, and go out there on, on that stage. I'm, I'm feeling very good right now. I feel very confident and I uh, just want to go out there and, and uh, you know, don't overdo it. Just just do what I'm capable of doing and, um, you know, the rest will take care of itself. Good. All right. Third question is, what advice would you give to any young kicker that's trying to do what you're doing right now? You know what I'd say, just just continue to work hard. You know, I've always had the attitude of, um, you know, someone someone's going to make it to the NFL. Why why not you? You know, that's just kind of the attitude I, I've taken along. And uh, you know, you, you just got to work hard at it, and you have to believe that that, that anything's possible. And uh, like I said, that, that's the attitude that I've taken uh, ever since I was in high school and uh, growing up. And um, you know, if you if you put in the work, put in the time, um, you know, it'll definitely pay off. And all you need is that one shot, that one opportunity, and you have to take advantage of it. Next question is, what was your initial reaction when you saw your name come across the TV during the draft? <laughs> you know what, that was, a, that was an amazing, amazing time, that amazing moment right there. I'll never forget that. I had uh, some family and friends over at the house. And uh, when I got that phone call, that was just, it was unreal. It was something that, like I said, you always dreamed of. And to, to actually have it take place, that, that was pretty cool. You know, talking talking to different coaches and talking to different people, I had a, I had an idea or a, you know a, a hint that, that I would be that I would be drafted. But you just you never know until it actually happens. And uh, you know, obviously we were hoping and praying that it did. And uh, like I said, to actually get that phone call, that was an unbelievable feeling. And uh, you know and. You know, kind of it, reality set in, and I knew that I really haven't done anything yet. It was, it was more of go there and improve yourself. I was only, only halfway there, and uh, and that's how I feel right now. I'm just continuing to work and and uh, get that opportunity and, and go in there and win the job. All right, Taylor, you've been known for your your big leg on kickoffs. Tonight, when you get your first kickoff, are you gonna just try to bang it? Right through the end zone, are you gonna to try to kill it or what are you gonna to try to do knowing that your emotions are running so high? Yeah. But just I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda of control myself, stay stay within what I'm what I'm capable of doing, like I said, and, and just trust myself. And um, you know, you, you you can't go in there and overdo it. I know I'll have a lot of emotions. It's always uh, the first kickoff of every season, you you kind of you're a little bit more amped up than <laughs> than the other ones, and I'm gonna go in there and just and just stay under control and and uh, put the ball up in the air and, and let it go and I'll let it fly in the, the Arizona air, the thin air here. Last question is, uh, what do you think now that you've been in the NFL and you see other guys kicking a little more? What do you think are maybe the couple main ingredients that you see that, that a guy needs to have to be a great kicker? Well, I think what I've seen, um, you know, luckily for me, I'm, I'm able to uh, to go in and, and I'm, I'm competing with Martin Gramatica as a nine-year NFL veteran. And any time you're a rookie, you come into the league, 
you have to look at that as a, an opportunity to, to learn from a guy. Obviously, he's done something right. He's been in the NFL for nine years. He's a very good kicker, smart guy. He's uh, very consistent. And for me, I, I, I want to go in there and, and try to learn something, you know, pick his brain a little bit. Obviously, we're in competition, so it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, you know, we're competing. We're, we're friends off the field and everything, but it, it's, it's competition. And, um, you know, I've learned that it's, it's more of a mental game. It's it's uh, you have to be focused in. You have to be dialed in on every single kick. Every single kick counts, and uh, con consistency. I, I believe you know having a big leg will get you noticed by the NFL. But consistency, um, making your kicks and doing your job is, is what will keep you there. Well, Taylor, we want to thank you for your time, and uh, we wish you the best of luck in your first uh, NFL preseason game. So <laughs> thank you. I appreciate I, that. You got it.